Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be checking out Habroxia on Nintendo Switch. So this is one that came out uh, quite a while ago now, um, and it... Yeah, there, there were a lot of mixed uh, feelings about it, and I certainly wasn't really keen on picking it up for full price. It was 50% off, um, so it was like 5 bucks uh, today, which is... Um, yeah, this will probably be coming out the day after today, but anyway... Um, yeah, I figure, you know what, I don't mind dropping five bucks just, just to check it out, share my thoughts on it, and uh, just go in and see what kind of uh, positive points we can focus on, and just, yeah, see what we can sort out. Uh, so, okay, well, yeah, we'll just jump into level one. Already I'm liking the, the colors and the pixel art and the sounds and the music and all that stuff, so... Things are looking all right so far. Uh, so, hold the fire shot one, shot two. Ooh, interesting, okay. So let's just jump right in. So we got this, ooh, nice. And we got that. Ooh, that's sweet. Okay, so snag that. Ooh, the Tome of the Ancients. So far, the controls are feeling decent. Definitely no issue there. Oh, dude. Interesting. So, okay, as you're going down, you kind of, uh... Yeah. Oh, dude. Um, you kind of control... I'm just you know, focusing. It's kind of wonky because, like, you can fire that burst upwards or downwards as long as you're going in that direction. But that can sometimes be risky and get you into trouble. So you gotta really be careful how you use that kind of stuff. Oh, I'll take that for sure. Because, yeah, we kind of took a bunch of damage there, so... There's gotta be something. Nice. As if, dude. Yikes, yikes. Let's just get our bearings a little here, peeps. This feels so old school, it's pretty cool. Now one of the main issues that I heard people mention uh, quite a bit was just the fact that like you really don't have much going on in the way of enemies. And I can definitely see that, but like at the same time, it's not like I'm expecting much. But, yeah, it's just yeah, like it is what it is. Sweet boss though. I'm loving the look of that guy. Let's just focus on the, those things. Sindri. What a wicked name. Goodbye, chuckle nuts. Level one complete. Okay, so pretty straightforward stuff. Um, yeah, certainly no complaints, or like, right now. Um, obviously, like, it's not wowing you like some shmups, or wowing me, I will say, uh, like some shmups would, but at the same time, I usually just, like, go in without expectations. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, let's just continue. Enter name. I think we are good. Ship upgrades. Cool. So I uh, 
or at least the time of this recording, I just finished recording um, my first look of Nell Drifter, and that one also had like a power up or leveling up system in it, which is not common for the shmups I play, so it's neat to see that this one has that as well. Rockets. Um, additional health. I wonder if these are permanent like in Nell Drifter, though. Pick up magnet. That kind of sounds like it would be, but... Hmm. Well, we only got 70 to work with. I think we'll just go with this. Cool. Let's just continue and see what level 2 is like. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that we have a, a boost. And for a second, I forgot how to even fire. But man, I'm loving the visuals and the music, that is for sure. This really does have just a, a retro feel to it, so they definitely bang that out nicely. Oh yeah, right, man. We're like one hit away from being toast. Oh, dude. I thought I would be like firing like up and down simultaneously. That's what I was going for, but it didn't do that. But anyway, um, level two. Oh, that's sweet that you can just go back into it. And it's neat that we get different music even though we're in the same level we were just in. Okay, so as long as you're not directing one way or another, then you can do the whole like up and down simultaneously thing. That whole deal. I do like the variation of shots though. How you can just combine your two attacks into a different attack. The whole spread shot. That's pretty sweet. Screw those guys. We'll just go like this. I'm stoked to see what boss we come to as well. And I don't recall how many levels there are even in this game, but I suppose time will tell as we play a little more and I dig a little deeper over the coming days. Oh, nice. That's sweet. We've got some heat-seeking action. But yeah, one thing I can really see is just the slow, easy pace of things. I don't really see this providing much of a challenge. Because everything's kind of just at like a really relaxed pace. Like you don't have, like you're not being overwhelmed like in a bullet hell. You're not, like we don't really have any fast moving dudes yet or anything like that. It's just going nice and easy, which is fine too. Like I don't mind that from time to time. Um, but I will say that I am typically just more geared towards things that are like shmups that are just crazy and full of bullets and stuff. And if it's not gonna be, if it's not a bullet hell shmup that I'm playing, then it's probably gonna be something like Super Hydora, where it's just you've got these immaculately crafted levels and bosses, and just everything is so chock full of creativity. Whereas this kind of feels a little on the bare bones side, but I can still appreciate it for what it is. Definitely, it's about time, man. Can we just, like, kill this guy already? Oh, dude. Tricks. Tricks McGee. Oh, I gotta just watch for that, because, like, that's the easiest thing to avoid. Magni. Oh, 
dude. Take it to the face, man. Level two complete. Uh... Da, 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 da. Okay, continue. Yeah, we, we are good. Ship upgrades. Let's see what we got. We got 110 to work with this time. Um, you know what? We are just gonna leave it for now and head on out. I gotta remember I have that, like, boost. If you want to just, like, zip around quickly for just a quick second to escape these deadly shots that we're contending with. I think you might actually even have more more challenge if you just intentionally didn't take enemies out, but just dodge shots and things like that, but... I remember sharing my thoughts on certain reviews and stuff like that, and I think what they could have done is just... Like, they certainly put effort into, like, the look and feel of this game, but I think they could have just put a little more effort into the challenge factor and what was going on. Oh, dude. Ooh, let's not hit that. Oh, I totally forgot about this. That is actually one really cool thing that I do like about this game, is the fact that it just kind of shifts into a vertical. That was actually one thing that I thought was just a nice touch when I first heard they did that and saw footage of it and all that stuff. Like, even though this isn't super crazy, this already feels more like, yeah, cool, like we got more dudes on screen and all that kind of stuff. Now, whether they capitalize on that, I'm not sure. Like, like let's say the whole game just has like one or two of those instances where you switch. And that's not like super crazy, but it's neat that they at least did a little something. But judging by the fact that we're seeing the first example of that just in stage three or whatever and we're in now, I have a feeling we're not gonna see too much. Just gonna go like this. Cause picture if if it was like shifting every like ten seconds or it was just like this track that you go along where it's changing like very often, I think that would definitely have interested people a little more. And I'm just being kind of sloppy here because I'm kind of just like focusing more on, yeah, chatting and fiddling around and whatnot, but let's see about cleaning up our act a little bit. There we go. Oh, these things are still chasing me, man. Come on. That just is not cool. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. So what do we got? 190 now, okay. Uh, shot power. Fire rate. You know what? I think we'll go with fire rate. Is that, uh, it's kind of to my liking. All right, stage four. Now I think there is some sort of like challenge mode or whatever where you just do like a loop. Um, well, obviously we haven't checked that out yet and we might not, it depends how long I just like do this stuff for. Um, we're already at 15 mins. 
So, we'll just see what goes on. But yeah, the, the fire rate being improved is nice. I think it's like, because it does use the level system and you don't get much in the way of credits each stage, I think uh, it is a bit of a, s oh dude, a bit of a slower burn for sure. Which I'm not complaining about, it's just if that's how they did it, then that's how they did it. Selfish there, wanting to just sneak in for that extra little attack. That's a neat formation with those dudes doing what they're doing, but yeah. There's some life, thank you. It's a pretty straightforward boss, like all of them have been so far. They're not really posing a challenge. But for some people, like to be honest, like I would still recommend this to a specific group of people. Like some people may have never played anything even close to this, and if their skills are a certain way, then this might actually be oh, that, wow, our first death. Um, yeah, I think uh, we'll skip that for now. Um, yeah, like if, the, if they just have no experience and the, this kind of game would be tricky for them in general, then like I might say like, okay, well, yeah, check this out. Um, if you're fine with something at a very slow pace, then you can work your way up from there. But I think it's a very small group of people that would start off with a game like this. Most could probably jump into something a little more uh, hectic. Mode select. How do we scroll over? I'm pressing things, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mode locked. Story mode. Okay, well... Maybe if you gotta beat the game or something to unlock uh, the other mode, um, or modes, I'm not sure how many there are. I think there are actually a whack load of them or something, like with little missions or things you've got to achieve or whatever the case is, but anyway, I think that's a great place to leave off. We're at about 20 minutes, and uh, that's a nice sample. So anyway, let me know what you think, if you've played this, what you thought of the game, if you noticed something during my little sampling of it that maybe piqued your interest or maybe you want to pick it up now that it's on sale or whatever the case is let me know i always love the feedback but yeah thanks again peeps you have an awesome day and we will see you next time